Okay, so, you know, last time I forgot something. And then there's also um, news, brand a brand new item. Although she is a little bit, hey Tiki, you gonna say hi to everybody? Come on. It's this one. This nasty, ratty, wretched sock that uh, it smells like, good God, furniture polish? Floor polish, that's what it smells like. So if you live in Berkeley, you're already missing a couple of articles of clothing, and now you're missing one of your rags for the floor polishing job you're doing. Um, <laughs> Tiki brought it to me, so. <laughs> Uh, and oh, also, the, the night that she brought it in, she was so enthusiastic about it. I really, you know, I have no idea how a cat could be enthusiastic about something that smells so wretched. Um, <laughs> but she was. Uh, she woke me up and my roommate up. We both thought that she had a rat. Um, but it wasn't. It was, uh, it was this thing. Um, so pretty disgusting. <laughs> um, and I really thought she would be bringing in more animals by now, but it uh, looks like she's, you know, kind of on a kick of bringing in clothing. So, so there's that. That's the new addition. The other one that I forgot was pretty much the first thing that she brought in. She was basically still a kitten, you know, and she, uh, she brought in this, uh, this piece of string and this, which is technically clothing because it's not basic string it's as you can see at that right there is uh it's a shoelace um and i've since knotted it and so such and this one is really pretty funny this is one of her favorite toys her absolute favorite toys because i take it and i hang it from a branch in a persimmon tree out back and you'll see one of the persimmon trees but not the one that she uses for uh, the toy, or I use for the toy, is I hang it up in the persimmon tree, and there's about a one week cycle, because it'll be there for a couple of days, then it'll disappear. But if you look up on the roof, you'll see that there's the shoelace. And uh, another day or two later, it'll show up in my bedroom. She's dragged it in through the, through the window. So, you know, I don't know why it takes so long. I mean, I could see if it was hanging in the persimmon tree all week, and then one morning there it was, you know, in inside. But no, and she drags it up on the roof, and she must be playing it, playing with it up there for a couple of days. Um, so, oh no, that's not it. We got something else here, which is um, I taped a little tiki cam, which I didn't tape a camera to the cat. I I did a jury rig, a five minute jury rig, so it's not that great. But it's basically a camera shot from cat level, so it's kind of like a cat cam. It's like from the cat's perspective of the routes that she takes to uh, drag things um, into the house. But I don't climb up on the roof. I'm, I'm 45 and I'm fat, so I don't do that. Not anymore. Um, that's it, let's, let's go take a look outside, okay. Oh, okay, so this is the route that Tiki took, bringing the underwear and probably pretty much everything else. Oh, she kind of slinks along in here. She stays close to everything as she can. She comes through here. on the filth. Down she goes. Hi Tiki, there she is. And she goes up the stairs. 
and up onto the bench, and along the bench, up onto here. She's underneath the persimmon tree. She goes up in the persimmon tree, and then the rest of it. I'm uh, here we go. Just uh, you know, I'm 40 years old. I'm fat. There's no way. Here we go. This is a persimmon tree. I'm not gonna climb in the persimmon tree. Nor. Oops. Oh, I think the camera was sideways there. There we go. No wonder I couldn't see it. Okay. That's the persimmon tree. And there's the rail. She jumps from the rail into the persimmon tree, climbs up in the persimmon tree, and there's the little eave of the house there. She gets onto the eave of the house, and there, of course, hi Tiki, that's Tiki. That's a uh, persimmon tree, and the eave of the house there. She goes, she goes up across there, past the pipe, over towards the solar panels, up and over that bit where the solar panels are. There we go. Get you another shot over there. Okay. So she gets up over there. She comes down over here, off this little side, down here, and then she has to jump up to that window, which is usually open for her. And that's that's how she dragged this underwear in. That's where I spotted her. Okay. There we go. She jumps from that eave up to that window. Or, if that window is closed. She comes up over the front of the house and under that eave, the little one on the roof, goes in through the window there. I have sometimes seen her taking this other route. There's the back fence here. So she comes down, back fence. through the backyard when she's carrying something. She usually stays close in these little gutters and everything else. There's whoops, around here on this side. Don't wanna be spotted. Don't wanna be spotted. There we go. And then up, and there's that.